Hey, got a special situation? You need special tools. Stay tuned. I can help you. Hey, so you got a special situation. You got to have a special kind of wood, so you got to make it yourself, brother. Yeah, and we can do it. But you just need the right tools. I get to buy more tools. <laughs> yeah. And so this is where the Alaska sawmill comes in handy. Made by Grandberg. Visit them at grandberg.com. I don't get paid to say this. It's a good tool. And so this is a handy dandy little tool here for you. And this is a one person and it hooks up to your chainsaw. So we're gonna rip this down to about an inch and a half. And I gotta make a new skin for a log and I can't buy it, so we're gonna make it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about mounting up the uh, Alaskan sawmill uh, to your chainsaw. Uh, one of the things that you wanna do, and I think they recommend, uh, I'll have to go back online and look, you need like a 50cc or above. I I've actually run this on uh, lighter chainsaws and it will work. Uh, one of the problems that you'll run it, run into, and this is a 20 inch bar here, and it's nice and wide. I've run it on smaller chainsaws and where it mounts here, um, you can see that right there. I've got plenty of room here on a smaller bar. Uh, it gets a little too close to the chain. So you, you, because <clears throat> this is a chainsaw and you gotta worry about kickback, you wanna pay attention to that. Make sure that, uh, that you're doing that part real safe and uh, that you're not running an underpowered chainsaw, that you got something that'll do the job. Uh, this is pine that we're going to work on today. So I got a nice sharp new chain on here that's uh, uh, ready to go. Uh, my stock is, is nail free and so I can just cut right through it. So uh, I've done this on oak before and it will work. Once again, uh, I did it with an underpowered chainsaw. Uh, didn't quite have the power. And so that's something to consider that you have a big enough chainsaw that uh, this will work. So properly. I got my uh, Alaskan sawmill mounted to my chainsaw, ready to go. Now I just need to set the depth. They do have a gauge over here on the side. As you can see, that's marked. And then these two screws here are these two nuts. And uh, you just kind of hooks to this little U-clamp right here. And you just loosen that or tighten it. And, uh, and to just double check, uh, you got the kerf of your blade here. So I want something about an inch and a half and that's about right there. So this bar is gonna ride along the top of my stock. And of course my blade will do the cutting. And so that's about where I want it to be. And so we're ready to make our first cut. One of the tips that, uh, that you probably wanna do is make sure that your chainsaw is good and warmed up. And uh, that way when you get ready, you know, put your blade in that it doesn't uh, wanna bog down on you or shut off. Uh, the other thing is you got a good stable stand and also that your work area is clear because you don't want to be tripping and falling everywhere. So with all those things in mind, let's get to work. Let's make some solder. when you're uh, getting your, your chainsaws on and you want to make your, your starting cut, uh, you really need to focus on this bar right here. So there's really, you kind of got left or right like this. You want to make sure that it's flat and also from front to back this way. So you can kind of get a feel before you actually cut your chainsaw on, get a feel for what flat feels like. And then just kind of start, you know, the butt end of your blade and then rock it forward. And a lot of times when I'm cutting, I'll, I'll roll it forward and then let the back end of the chainsaw catch up. So when I first started cutting, I want to focus on here. So when I make my plunge cut, then it goes from there. And then this back bar will, will rest on the, the uh, on the back side of it. And then you can kind of really let the saw do the work and just go through your board like that. <laughs> Cool deal. And so 
check that out looks pretty good we can run this through the planer and because uh, there is some uh, like some thin spots um, through here but I can just run it through the planer dress it out but you know when you got to make your own wood in the Alaskan sawmill that thing uh, it, it does the trick and uh, it's never let me down and so remember it's just rough cut lumber and so to dress it down run it through your planer and you're good to go so that's the Alaskan sawmill I uh, hope you like this little tip our little tool review it works great had it for years hey thanks for again for watching the sawdust dude stay tuned subscribe like hit that notification bell and yeah i'll see you real soon yeah